you ever wanted to gather more information about what happens when your system starts up, when its configuration files are there, uh, what programs are run when your system starts up, we can go to our start menu, click run, and run the program msconfig. And we'll hit enter. Now, unlike the command line programs we were running earlier, this next grouping of programs is very graphical. It puts up something on our screen that's Windows based. So by going to the start menu and simply quickly running msconfig, what we're really launching is the Windows system configuration utility. A lot of different options here. We're going to be using the system configuration utility quite a bit when we go through some of our 702 video modules. But look at least to see what's in here. You can see things like services and what happens to be there. All these are all of the different services configured on our machine. If we wanted to enable or disable any of them, we can simply click a check mark. So this is a great troubleshooting tool. We can see exactly what programs begin when we start up our computer. And there's some other tools here that allow us to jump right to other types of programs like network diagnostics and internet options in the event viewer all from the system configuration utility. Great little program. Again, to get to this and start it, it's the start option, choose run, and type msconfig. Another nice diagnostic tool is something called msinfo32. We're going to perform the same thing, the start run, msinfo32. And again, this launches a Windows-based program that is going to give us information about our computer. This is the Windows system information. And you can see it gives you a lot of information about your computer. I'll make this a little bigger so we can see it a little bit better. I'm running this as this system name, Virtual XP. It is a virtual machine running on my Windows 7 machine underneath the surface. All the information about how much virtual physical memory I've assigned to everything in here. I can click on some of these plus signs, get more information about hardware components and the other aspects of what's running inside of this computer. So if you're trying to figure out how much memory is in this computer, how much hard drive space is here, what types of components are under the covers, what's inside of this system, you may be able to click different components here and get a perspective of what sound device is really inside of this laptop. I can't see on my laptop what's inside. I, I can't even see what type of, of hardware might be under the surface there. But just by clicking around on some of the system information, you're able to get information about the display. You're able to get information about USB, about printing. There's a lot of details you can get. And it's that MSINFO32 that really gives us all of those really detailed specifics about the hardware components of our system. If you use graphical programs, you run games on your system, you may get into a situation where you have to troubleshoot some of the DirectX application functions. DirectX is a uh, component that you would add, a software component you put in your operating system that allows programs to take advantage of some of those advanced graphical and audio capabilities. To really do a diagnostics of your DirectX, you can go to Start, click Run, and we're going to run DXDiag and hit Enter. This brings up a DirectX diagnostic tool. And it gives us information about what this configured on this machine. In fact, it's running DirectX 9.0c. I can see what files are on my system for DirectX. I can get a lot more details about my display and what it happens to be here. I can enable and disable capabilities here. I can test different capabilities of DirectX and see exactly what's going on on this system. We can start to get different diagnostic screens, which might tell us, is there a problem with this or not? I did see some of those rectangles. Should we see a bouncing white box? Yes, we do. So this is where you get into more of understanding very, very detailed view of is DirectX installed? Is it working? Can we run some video tests and see what's going on there? A great utility for not only video, but also sound. And if you're running into some complicated issues dealing with these very advanced programs that tend to run in our desktop today, the DX Diag program will help you out quite a bit. The last troubleshooting program I'll show you today is one called RegEdit. And you're going to go back to this over and over again. We'll start run reg edit and hit Enter. This is the Windows Registry Editor. Windows stores all of its configuration information, and I mean all of its configuration information for the operating system, for your applications, for darn near everything in your computer, it's stored in your registry. And this registry editor allows us to have access to that information. This is a massive database uh, of information. For instance, if we go to this local machine, this uh, hive key local machine under software 
and we just choose Microsoft and we scroll down to Windows. Boy, you can start to see a lot of things are going on here. Current version. And look at all this information that we've drilled that into under our HiveKey Local Machine Software Microsoft Windows current version. I've really gone all the way into there, and it's got a lot of information about where the common files are stored, where the media path is stored, what my product ID happens to be for this, what my configuration program, my accessories name happens to be, a lot of details. You want to be very, very careful about changing anything in here. When you change it, it takes effect immediately. And if you make the wrong change, you hit the delete key and delete the wrong thing, you can seriously damage your operating system. And I've had to reload Windows before because I deleted the wrong thing inside of a registry editor. Fortunately, there are some methods we can use within the registry editor that allow us to grab information that happens to be in a hive. And we can export that and store it in these registration files off on our hard drive. We can make some changes. And if we created a problem, we can simply re-import the file that we saved. Always have a backup. Always, always have a backup, and especially in the registry editor. Anytime you start registry editor, in your mind, you should automatically go into a safety mode where you want to be very careful about what you're doing. But as long as you're following directions, you're doing what the technical support documents tell you, and you're making the proper backups, this is a very, very powerful place to go to start troubleshooting and fixing different things in your Windows environment. Those are just a few of the command line options available to you. We'll be learning a lot more about command line options and other programs as we go through all of these CompTIA a video modules. But let's see what we've learned today with our command line utilities. Our first question, which command line utility can give you information about your IP address? That was one of those command line prompts we ran. And if you recall, that was ipconfig. The next question is, which utility can provide you with the details about your computer? We want to get a lot of information about what your system is really running underneath the surface. And the MSinfo32 utility is perfect for that. And lastly, which utility can help you troubleshoot video problems that occur when you're playing games? Well, we know that the audio and video diagnostics can be run for DirectX directly from our DX Diag prompt at the start run prompt on your computer. If you'd like to see any of our free a videos, they're all available for free and all online to watch as much as you'd like. You can participate in our message boards. You can send me a message and much more. Visit our website at freeaplus.com. <laughs>